I could die in a lightning strike tomorrow in California. Totally happening. Earthquake is going to get you, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though every building is basically built with uh, earthquake protection. Oh, uh-huh, okay. All right. Well, anyways. <laughs> now, hopefully everyone doesn't bug splat out or whatever. Oh, wow. Well, I thought uh, I thought it would be Chouster on Lee Sin, but I guess it's Saint. Oh, Never yeah? Hey. Chouster's uh, playing Caitlyn, so... I was actually I was actually curious about that because I was like, well, usually well, Saint Chelsea doesn't play any AD, so that's probably why. Oh uh, yeah, makes a little bit of sense. But I mean, they they've pretty much never deviated from their uh, setup since the beginning. It's always been, I mean, this tournament I should say, it's been uh, Saint jungle, hot shot. Solo top, GG mid. Uh oh, another another another. Uh... Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I think they're trying to talk about what summoners they had. Oh, uh, he switched to exhaust for some reason. Really, exhaust. When he flash. flashed, yeah, he had flashed before. Yeah, he uh, did, didn't he? I don't know. I wonder if they wanna. What they're gonna do? I guess they're just gonna go. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna go. Anyways, teams are roaming up, and I'm guessing with the awards here, they're gonna pretty much know anywhere that they're at. All right. So nothing, nothing particularly out of the ordinary. No, they Same actually decided not to go for the red buff this time. Is this gonna be the first game we don't see some crazy red some buff still in? Yeah. Well, no. The the game of uh, HOV versus. Okay, that does not count. That was not a game. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was just a was, uh, Wraith OP. Okay, so the steal on the golems to start off versus um, curses not stealing anything. So, um, let's see how that turns out. Uh, looks like CLG might come late to some of these lanes. Uh, if okay, if it's Caitlyn backing, it's because she's setting top. So That's heading four potions instead of three. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it's start. interesting that you would see. Uh, hmm. They're using double lift as a solo. Okay. Versus Caitlyn, have fun. Yeah. So they they really didn't let Jackie. Solo at all. Okay. Poor Jackie so, never gets to solo. Double doesn't like soloing either, so I don't know how this is gonna work out. Yeah, I don't think I would want to solo versus a Kate. I think uh, he thought he was going to go against Choker. Uh, Tarek stun, perhaps. Oh, here we go. A free Tarek There it stun. is. There it is. And there's a bomb. Uh, Will we see a kill? Nope. I didn't think they had enough. At least it wasted a flash, but now Elements is uh, got to do something. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> Hotshot's just kind of farming against Jackie. They both can't really damage each other, so yeah. That's the Switching stay. up their lanes, they're gonna have uh, Tarek, Caitlyn versus a Blitz, and it's just basically, basically the yeah. same thing we were expecting to see, but switched. Yeah. It seems like if you want if you want your bot lane to be bot lane, you have to start them top. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, here it goes. I uh, don't know whose CV that is. Um, you can I'm guessing it's that. CLG's. It is not ours. So yeah, CLG's. Okay. Just hit F and, again, right, so and you can another. see the vision. Alright. Yeah. There's a Q on a big fat GG. Okay. He's going to chase him, but not. no, he's not. There's a little bit of stun action going on. I'm pretty sure Double Lift's going to have trouble here. I mean, he pulls him in, but... Ooh, that's actually really dead. I didn't, oh my gosh. Oh, he stepped on a trap! I guess I didn't see it or what? Huh, that's not bad. That was a good hook. But uh, since Soraka's only level 1, it's going to... Uh, she'll, she'll be able to she'll get it up a little bit. It's just hard at first. I think I just lost uh, Atlanta there. It'll call him back in a second. He's probably having internet troubles. Alright, 
anyways, he'll probably call me back when he gets back. So, anyways, back to the game, though. Keston's already having pretty big trouble. Again, he's going to have trouble until he gets a little bit later on. And he can do more damage with his Q than Gigi can do with his... Oh, man, if that fear would have went off, Hot Shot Gigi would have had some trouble. That was a perfect flash. It was literally right at the last second before he got feared. And Nijeki was actually able to get a slow off on him. I think Tarek's just going to let her farm up there and try and play it safe while he roams. Oh, they're already giving blue buff to GG, which makes sense. I mean, St. Vicious doesn't need it. So that I guess that's a kind of the benefit of having a Lee Sin jungler is that you can give your blue buff so early to who you're laning against. And there we go. This rock is just going to try and zone it out. Really not the best so though. So I can't do a lot of damage to her without taking a lot of hits in return. I think that Pope is going to have a lot of trouble in this lane now with a blue buff on GG. Uh, since this Joust was all by himself up here at this tower, it's going to be pretty easy for Double Lift to push it until Tarek gets back up there. Tarek's kind of been roaming around. I don't know. He hasn't made anything useful out of it. He's just kind of forcing Caitlyn to lose out, and I think she'd be doing really well if she was able to push. But at the same time, that Sorak is going to make any kind of harass that they do kind of obsolete. Oh, okay, here we go. Labak is going to get caught in this jungle here. I think that he could potentially go down. No, he has his flash. Is this stun going to be able to allow him to get the kill? Nope. St. Fisher does not want to go on that. He has full energy, but probably didn't want to dive against that. That's a bad idea. Yeah, and Soraka was coming up there. She would have held him up. Maybe, actually. I don't know if she would have gotten any time. Alright, good stun there by Tarek, keeping uh, Jackie from jumping over the wall. Although it would have been not in his favor to do so in, in the first place, but... Let's see how the farm's doing. We've got Hotshot GG at 41. So he's actually, as expected, probably <laughs> out farm interest on it. Just because he can easily run in there and get all of his health back. So now that Double Lift does not have Soraka with him anymore, he's having a little bit of trouble uh, sustaining against her. I'm curious about why the supports are doing this. They're flipping around a little bit, and I think that Double Lift should be okay here, but once he runs out of health potions, which he's got one more, he's not going to be able to stay in the lane against her. And look, he's already like about a level and a half behind from what it looks like anyways. So Atlanta just messaged me. Apparently he realized that he disconnected from Skype there. He's trying to fix it. This tower's going to go down pretty soon if he continues to push like this. And Terrence just going to zone him out. Oh, this could be pretty bad if he flashes through. Yeah, there's the double and the ignite. I think he's going to go down for sure. So that's a kill for Pobelto. That's going to be first blood. Nice job, Big Fat GG. First blood. That was a good play on Tarek's part. Tarek actually came back, came around behind there, and that worked out really well. So, especially since Caitlyn's easily able to hold the lane against double lift, and there's no real need for her, for him or her to be down here. And by him or her, I mean Soraka doesn't need to be down here, and Tarek doesn't need to be down here either, or up there. So that kind of allows him to do that free roaming action. Double Lift's getting creep blocked here, and it's not helping him out. He's actually going to put himself in a bad position. There we go. St. Vicious in there just in the nick of time. Oh, this is going to be so close, but not quite enough. I almost feel like he kind of miscalculated how much damage he's going to be able to do. He didn't have as much mana. as he. Well, actually he did, because he was able to get his ultimate off. It just, it just still wasn't enough to finish her off. 
Saint Vicious had a really good timing on coming up there to pick that up, so that's great. Oh, I think Alan is back. Let me see if he's gonna answer. What's up? You back? Yeah. Okay. I just out on first blood, but I, I got to see it. Yeah, I, I saw it. It's uh, yeah, elements came around. That was a good, good positioning on him coming around behind okay. like that. So jumping back into the game now, uh, looks like they're down two kills ahead. Yeah. So what happened was, he got that kill there, and then up top. Double lift was trying to fight the Caitlyn, but he Caitlin has no. One -on -one. And Team Vicious came in to help out. At no wards top. Nope. Free kill. Soraka it's... actually came bottom to help out, and Jackie still that double lift was solo against her. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Like it nope. doesn't affect. Uh, definitely it's doesn't. Stolen. Shogath can farm, so they lose. It was blue buff over this from not having enough people over here. Um, well, it looks like CLG is doing quite well. Oracle on, uh... And they have the ward in that triple bush. That's an interesting place to put it. Their ward's all over the place in their... <laughs> that entire area, like... Yeah, they wanted to ward all the entrances to blue so they could steal it. Um... But it doesn't look like Jackie is making any dent on Hotshot at bot. It's just... It's, it's just a farm good. fest. Like, how could you? Yeah, and exactly. it's it's a really Caitlyn's having an easy time versus double lift. I mean, it seems like that Riggles is doing her really well. Yeah, it is, and this is bad. See, he's gonna get caught once again. This is the second time. Yes, yeah, knocked alt too. Well, actually, got uh, away. That wasn't too bad. Knocked alt and a rock alt and GG getting ganked. Oh, so. there it is. Yeah, he actually put alt on himself. He's gonna go down. Not enough. If Belter can get enough mana, he's gonna get in there. Oh, what oh he doesn't have enough mana to Q, does he? Change of events. <laughs> oh, he got it. He got it. But he was able to pick up a kill before. Oh, that's two kills. Very nice job by Big Fat GG. I hate played that really well. Pretty, pretty fail on the uh, Cassidy jump, but generally, great play by GG. Oh, and double up's going to go down 1v3. Not going to work out for him very well. Wow, that's yep. weird. That kick looked like odd for some reason. Anyways. Top tower going down. CLG is doing quite a heavy beating to Curse right now. Handing it, just it over. It's like the, the laning for Curse is not as good as it could be. Uh, uh, well, I don't think we expected it to be based on the picks. Well, no, it, it shouldn't have been Blitz soloing. No, it shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, I don't, but I don't, think, like, I don't uh, like that Soraka left him alone. To solo. It makes no sense to me that Soraka left him alone. Yeah. Although it just felt like the Blitzcrank pick, and this is the problem with Blitzcrank mainly, is that he just has nowhere to go where he won't get stomped by a stronger lane. Um, yeah, he's such a strong champion, but you're right, that's the problem. It's arguable that Blitzcrank wins a lot of lanes by landing hooks, but if he's solo, he can't quite do that. Yeah, the, the hooks usually got to be followed up by more damage from his lane partner. Right, and Soraka's not one of them. <laughs> not really. So, that's what I feel is the core problem of Curse's team comp as of now. Um, wasn't sure whether Double Lift would win as lane as Blitz, but Double is even more um, uncomfortable with soloing, I think, than Jackie is. So they, they made a mistake there. Plus, there's a Cassidy who's not winning his lane either. He was doing fine early. It just seems like whatever that dive was that got GG first blood just kind of snowballed him. On top of that, GG gets free blues every time. Yeah, he got free blues because they don't need it. Exactly. Anyway, so far CFG's got a pretty big advantage having a tower down and no dragon yet, but the four kills is a pretty big deal. Yeah. Especially yeah. on the people that got them. Not too sure about Curse's late game either. Zillion R3. There's the dragon. The only thing that CLG would need to do to lock the game up is when GG finishes our way, he can get a Negatron, Negatron cloak and be Virtually immune to Cassidy, other than being silenced. But 
Kassadin's straight damage output is not very high. Nice. And he needs to have someone to target, but if everybody on the enemy team is farmed, he has no one to target. Yeah, he's still going straight up mana. He wants to just jump in everywhere without running out of mana. That's kind of what like should have just there. ganked at 6. Because Kassadin has a lot of unique places he can gank from, as well as being very fast to travel the map. Exactly. Um, so, I mean, once once they know he's gone, I mean, they only have, like, two seconds to get back from wherever they are. Uh, this is bad positioning for Curse. They are giving away a free dragon here. Right, yep. And I don't know what they're doing. I mean, they've got Soraka supporting double lift who's easily able to farm from that position. So, it know. seems like they kind of, like, fill apart on this one here. It's like Curse wants to save up for late game, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you get that far behind. Push them too far ahead. They're going to they're gonna start becoming one, two, or three levels up, and I don't think that Curse will last. Yeah. Well, Saints is the same level as uh, Blitzcrank. And Poe Belter. Zillion passive is extremely strong. It's one of the main reasons why Zillion is strong, on top of him being able to revive someone and having decent mid-game burst. Yeah, that passive, passive is ridiculous. It's you pretty much auto-win lanes. It's a lot harder to to know when a person's going to level if they have increased XP. Yes. Alright, so they're fighting around blue, nothing happening in particular. I mean, Hotshot's definitely going to beat Jackie coming into the mid-game. Hotshot's going to have too much defense for Jackie to, to do anything against. So, I don't see this bot lane going anywhere. Hopefully, Jackie gets to the late game, but even then, that's not looking that hot. Uh, so we got an Oracle now on Soraka. Little late compared to Ellie, who got it at level five. <laughs> yeah. And now it's now it's becoming a really difficult game. It, it's just that there's so much advantage for CLG. They've got control uh, of all the lanes because they're winning farm. them. Dang. Farm is the farm is out of control as well. I think. Let me see. One forty. Uh, Triss is doing well. I'll just give it to Triss. She's <laughs> once she got to that level, but um, well, yeah, I don't know. I think I looked at it earlier and it looked like it was a lot different, but they kind of caught it up on farm. Uh, but the main thing is dragons and towers and XP, and Jack is about to kill himself. Yeah, I thought he was about to, but I don't know why he went in on that. Because he thought there were only two there. I don't know why Liquid turned around to silence either. Sarka's <laughs> gonna, Sarka's gonna lose that. her. That's bad. She's gonna lose oh, her. Oh, Saints gonna get killed here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Excellent play. Oh my goodness. And Elements didn't get Elements it. He's gonna go down. Ashed in with wow. his Oracle. And he's gonna lose it now. Yeah. For a read oh, kill. No. Oracle for Oracle. That oh was a, no. That was. Oh no. That was terrible for CLG. All five are bot or four of them are bottom. Now yeah. Gigi's trapped. Uh, it's looking pretty bad. Hotshot's That's... definitely gonna die here. Hotshot has nowhere to go. And Gigi doesn't want to go in because Cassidy will just silence him. Oh man, what were they thinking? Turning it around now. It looks that like was a terrible CLG play by CLG. Yeah. That flash by Tarek was not smart. No, it wasn't. He was well, trying to get rid of the Oracles we'll by Soraka, but he missed. It was great timing too by the uh, the Cassidin to show up, because uh, Cassidin again probably gets to everywhere about as fast, or probably actually a lot faster than Zillion is going to get to that place. Right. Like even despite Zillion's speed, you know, Cassidin could hop walls. So Cassidin got there before Zill did, and I think that also sealed their fate. Um, when someone can run faster than you to any team fight they're going to have an advantage when they're needed. Like, when when a, when a team is diving or something of that sort. That's why I value teleport, or personally value teleport, is because you can do that. You yes. can you could be there before oh, the other guy. Mid. Creeps almost got it, look at that. One HP. <laughs> it's good as dead. I mean, GG could just run up to it if you wanted to. It's still funny, because it's one HP. Oh yeah, literally one literally, HP. Literally, yeah. Uh -oh. I think that Caitlyn could be in trouble here if Double doesn't come on the trap. What you did. Uh, right, there's exhaust. Exhaust, but it's not going to do anything. Oh, nice grab. 
She's just gonna stand on the trap and be good. Why did he? Why did he, he, he okay, double is done. Uh, no, he's fine. Okay, the bot lane fight. Slopaka is kind of screwed. Um, yeah, he's in good position here, so. Yeah, he was. He just had been to flash out of that gank. Um, There's stuff going on everywhere here. Uh, I think the double is gonna give up the. Yeah, he has on choice. So top tower going down despite whatever else was happening. <laughs> Both crank one v one Caitlyn, and then Zillion came in. That's it. He was saved by the Soraka ult, who was used to save herself, oh, uh, yeah. and failed. So that ended up overlapping. But now the Oracle is gone on Soraka. So, so Oracle's so lost hers, and Tarek lost his. Kind of an even trade. He's probably gonna buy another. One. Yeah, he bought he bought another one. Oh goodness. Um, they're doing extremely well though. I mean, they already pushed the second tower. That's pretty heavy. At least. Yeah. And uh, it looks like Blitz is not going to be able to 1v1 Kate. I think that uh, well, Regal is making it very difficult to 1v1. With Blitz's early game damage is mainly just hitting people. Yeah, she's she just got those traps. That takes it away from him. It's really hard for yeah. someone like Blitz to stick on you if you're stuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, being able to kite around, or kite a melee around traps, has been pretty helpful. Oh my Ooh, gosh! That bomb on creeps. Oh man. Jackie's just gonna get healed up to full by Soraka though. No. Yeah, that's what Soraka does. Oh no, not the right one to grab. Well, got a hot shot. Well, but it, it might. Well, oh, he's gonna get ulted probably. They wasted his flash. Yeah, that's good. That's good. good. Um, curse suffered no, no losses, Damage. and hot shot has to heal. This is dangerous. If they go for this dragon and get caught. Uh, I think Hotshot has to heal. Like, they're not going to be able to fight it. Yeah, well... Uh, <laughs> it just gets pushed back. Alright, well they got the dragon, they're going to go for the initiate. Hotshot's going to go get in there, and of course he gets ulted, but... Let's see, Double Lift's going to be uh, definitely be destroyed. Not good. 4v1-ing. Uh, he didn't even use his ultimate. Oh, this is really bad. Oh no, now Jackie's gonna go down. Wasted his flash just to die anyways. I don't understand that. Uh, I think he got a Hope is dead too. Yep. Well, Belter got out St. Vicious, Ulta. but he's gonna die. The liquid just bases in the bush. Just bases right in the bush. Nice, it worked. Well, at least ninja. that saved himself. Not that it really helps the team much, but... They're still gonna get this bottom tower in a second. Yeah, that team fight was a mess. Um, it really was. That jet dragon was good, and then they decided to initiate and just destroyed themselves. They could have let Hotshot move in farther um, with that speed buff. If they would have just silenced him on the way in, he would have been a lot farther away from his team. He probably wouldn't have even gotten Zillion ulted. If they could have just ulted um, with Trist or with Blitzcrank to get uh, to get him farther away from his team, they could have melted Cho in Dragon without losing it because they have enough silence to stop him from eating it. But instead, they knocked him away, which didn't do anything for them. Yeah, I think she was just trying to buy herself time by pushing him away, and then that hurt them in the team fight situation. It's not a, it's not a team decision. It was a personal decision, and um, personal decisions can end up screwing a team over sometimes. Yeah. Uh, that one, I think, was one of them. Uh, All right, so here's another blue steel. So G's already gotten the first one. This is gonna be their second, I guess. Yeah, I would guess that Cho has his tally up. So Cho's just gonna farm. No and problem. Successful steal on blue. Curse is really gonna have to step their game up, get anything done. Well, they uh, did well for a four. little bit, and then they messed that. I mean, they yeah. got dragon, but they just messed it up after that. So, seems like we keep seeing that. That's a uh, <laughs> recurring theme. They do well, then mess up. Well, yeah. I mean, you get get overconfident, and that's exactly why. Curse, I was actually able to come back as much as I did. It's because CLG got greedy. Oh, whoa. Pull belts oh. are crazy. Pull belts are just kept himself. 1v3, not good. What was he thinking? He did Oops. no damage either. Um, then. And there's another Oracle. <laughs> okay, did you see the, the ultimate and the hook at the same time? Wow. <laughs> it ended up messing up the hook. Oh. And, um, not good synergy here. Yeah, Trist's ult messes with hook. Anything um, that displaces messes with hook. Because it displaces. Well, yeah, but I think.
Tristolt ends up screwing it up while the hook was going. Oh, I see what you're saying. She pushed it. Oh, like he grabbed it and it pushed. Okay. He grabbed and she ulted the, the grab away. It was really funky looking. That's weird. And now uh, Double's kind of trapped here, but uh, all he needs to do is stall. The rest of his team is right behind him. It would have been a good chance to maybe catch someone. He's not going to have many of those. Hotshot's looking for something here. I think he wants to take the red. Or He's just supporting. Just yeah. um, let's see, Soraka, does she, she got another Oracles after losing two now. That's 800 gold, and she's gonna be pretty crappy as the game goes on. She did. She's not gonna have any AP. Is what I mean. Oh uh, yeah, I mean Tarek's about. Oh, well, Tarek's much more farmed than she is. Uh, probably much more useful at this point. Yeah, um, just because of the stun. I mean, they both don't heal for too much. CLG managed to steal red, using that ward. Oh, Saint just caught. Uh, with a Q. Didn't really do anything, but it would have been no. cool. Would have been cool, yeah. Alright. So not a whole lot going on now. I think just CLGs yeah, is trying to extend extend their advantage. They have uh All they have to do is farm. Yeah. Although it, it could it could go either way. If uh they keep farming like this, uh eventually all of the mistakes that happened early game will start to equalize. In terms of percents, I mean if you think of a game where everybody has 100 CS, but you're down 50. Like, that's a lot of yeah. percentage. But if, if everybody has 400 CS and you're down 50, it's not a lot. Exactly. So, when you're losing, the only thing you can really do is just make sure the game goes on as long as possible. Um, but when you're winning... I think he's trying to, he's trying to like, teleport here. Uh, I he's nope. just teleporting, for real. <laughs> I was like, that's a weird spot, but okay. Maybe both. Maybe he wanted to be, but he also wanted to elevate. Yeah. Here you go. Double up wants to get something happening out here. He's kind of isolated. Oh, great! Good hook. grab. He wasn't I... able to land the fist though, and somehow Tris pushes. He holds himself. Now they have to get onto Caitlyn, or they're gonna die. Yeah, Caitlyn's gonna be able to get wrecked here because. Oh man, they all flash over. That's three flashes to kill her. Oh, and then pulls. Nice pull on the same vicious. And he's going to be able to kill double if. No, he's not. I'm uh, just he dies, though. Uh, okay, so it's 3v3. Uh, double if's low. Ali is full. Hotshot's full. So it's GG for GG. Pope here. Yeah, but GG has no mana. He's got a blue, but he still has no mana. I get screwed here. Uh, I think so. That's he's going to give a blue buff. That's double buff. Uh, Pac is dead. Oh, uh, yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, nowhere okay. to run. So, going to finish off Sweet. Dragon now. Look at that. Double the friend all the way top to get away. <laughs> yep. and and he runs much faster than Ellie does. I think Hotshot just accepted that he was going to get the kill on... Uh, Lepaka, yeah. Well, they yeah. picked up Dragon, so that actually makes the... It was a crazy fight. It would have... Eh, see, it came out in, a, in favor of CLG in the end because of the Dragon. Right. Um, but, I mean, it was also one of the first team fights that Chris actually... Got a kill. Also, Soraka lost oracles in Elven Sonata. So that's the third oracle. That's 1200 gold she's lost. That's just regenerated quite a bit of gold, too. Hmm. That's almost a needlessly large rod. One more. Alright. So how are they doing? Infinity Edge now. She's got that set up. That's gonna be. Patris has got really. Uh, yeah, looks she's not gonna be Tate's doing much. damage is much higher right now. Yeah, with the with an Infinity Edge versus a the Black Cleaver, I. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give Kate the advantage on that one. And Kate is becoming a, a high priority target. And they're they're good to jump on her. Um, that last fight. What really oh. turned it was that hook. That hook on Gigi to start it. That when, was sick, uh, yeah. I forgot who dodged it, but whoever dodged it was probably a less important target. 
the hook that was after that, where they all flashed in after Kate and then hooked yeah, getting some vicious in, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> that was really good. All right, so there's the Baron, and are they grouped up for this? Can they stop it? I think they're not going to start. There's no reason. That would be a very bad decision on their part yeah, if they start. Kurtz is uh, clairvoyance, too, so that's why they left, probably. kind of waiting on it. There's the annoying ward that you can't ever kill. Oh, here we go. This could be a kill right here. Elements uh, is about... There's the grab on the Elements. Nice! Free kill. And that's a free kill. Oracle's down. <laughs> Alt. The puck is going to go ahead and be held up. GG ulted him. GG ulted him. Pobelter is so dead right now. Pobelter is done. Pobelter is done. That ult. That was a great ultimate. And just in time. And that's going to turn the entire fight around on the curse. And that's... Yep. This is why Zillion still strong. Oh my gosh. One bomb. Boom. Two bombs. Oh. Dead. Two bombs kill Soraka outright. That's exactly what I had... Uh, said before before the game even started that once they hook someone zillion's just gonna save them <laughs> and oh, one man. aced them they 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 had a great pull and aced themselves that's how bad that went and the sad part is let's say let's say he didn't even save elements i'm pretty sure they still would have aced them almost or maybe uh, uh, no <laughs> if they didn't save ellie they wouldn't have been grouped um clg wouldn't or sorry curse wouldn't have been grouped for the zill bomb the other thing that uh, that, one, that Zill bomb <laughs> that hit them all. That was a lot of Zill damage. Hit all of them for about a thousand or more. That's uh, true. That was pretty significant. <laughs> that was probably what won them the fight. Was they were all grouped up around elements. So they all tanked the bombs. But if Ellie would have died, they would have all split. I think a better move probably would have been just to catch Gigi. If he had flash up, could have just flash punch ulted, and then everyone else could follow up. Yeah, Gigi's. Uh, this is the point in the game that's like this mid game area where not everybody has magic resist yet. That Zillion just destroys people if his bombs hit two or three people at a time. It's like some of the craziest AoE damage. Yeah, I mean, this is the point at which CLG's team is the strongest. Now yeah. they have. Level 18 on almost every character via Zill passive. I mean, right. you got, well, actually, <laughs> level 18 only on two, but. Uh, yeah, well, the ones that are pretty much matter. K Caitlyn's level 17, that's close enough. Yeah, everyone's very high level now. Um, lots of XP, lots of gold. That's a huge advantage. Tristana only level 14 versus, yeah, she just hit 18. Yeah. And, uh, gosh. Triss can't even, can't even hurt. She doesn't do uh, anything. So, like, uh, yeah, what does yeah. she do in a fight? She, she doesn't do deal really. damage mid game. Like that's she's not to get insta give. Insta give. There it right. is. And now that now pull but yeah, it's over. <laughs> this is just a shutdown at this point going forward. They're so ridiculously strong right now. Yeah, with that Baron, I mean they could tank anything. I think uh that there's just nothing Triss could do against the frozen heart rush. She doesn't have enough damage through anything else to kill a person with Frozen Heart. Right, and then they've got all these champions that do damage. Like, even if they don't have Caitlyn around, which they don't right now. Okay, Kate just 1v1 double if the top. Oh I don't my gosh. Know why people even tried, but he's got to try something, I guess. Yeah. And that's, that's it, there's the surrender vote. Yeah, this is over. Lepaka has reconnected. <laughs> he was DC'd. All right, well that's it. CLG takes the tourney. Man, good stuff. Well, there's some good moments in that game. It wasn't as epic as the last one, but it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, got some good hooks by Blitzcrank. Uh, good plays by everyone. I mean, it's a lot of mistakes too, but still a pretty good game. Uh, yeah. Still nothing compared to the other one. All right, cool. Well, that's uh, that's.